All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I've got an uh, exciting video for you today. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be demoing uh, the Bluetooth connector between the PC and the MLM2 Pro today. Uh, and we're also going to be using the GS Pro software with that. They did launch a firmware update for the device here in the last, like I'd say, 10 days or so. Uh, that was 3.8.20. We have the device updated to that for the demo today, so we will be running the, the latest and greatest firmware. There wasn't a whole lot publicly available as to what that update actually brings to the device, so I did reach out to Repsoda Support, and they basically just said it was kind of some small minor bug fixes. So getting back into the video of what we're doing today, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the device uh, to my PC through the Bluetooth connector. We're going to load into GS Pro. We're going to go out to the driving range. We're going to hit a few test shots. Uh, just to kind of get a feel for it. And then uh, we'll, we'll load into uh, a course, maybe like a par three somewhere, uh, and just hit a few shots in practice mode, uh, just to kind of maybe take a look at what that looks like as well. So, and to keep the video kind of short today, I, I kind of am gonna skip over kind of the installation and how all that is set up, because there's videos that already exist on YouTube, um, some good ones uh, out there that basically shows you how to do this. Uh, I just wanna kind of keep this video short, get you into the demo today. Um, just so we can kind of see how it works, how well it performs. All right, and like usual, the setup here in the sim today, we've got the MLM2 Pro laser measured from the impact screen at 14 and a half feet. And then from the red T down here on the ground, we've got eight feet laser measured to the screen. So we're gonna have that eight feet of ball flight and then that total distance for the device of 14 and a half, which is the minimum specs that Rapsodo recommends. And so we're gonna continue to play at that since we've had pretty good luck doing that so far. So now that we're loaded into the driving range, uh, basically just going to take a couple of shots with pitching wedge, a couple of shots of maybe 7-iron, just kind of look at the shot delay, see if we get any disconnects or any, any issues or problems. Uh, and then once we do that, we'll move on and maybe go out to a, a course and load into a practice hole, a couple of shots there just to kind of see, you know, how well does this actually work. First shot here, pitching wedge, typically hit this probably carry like 130 to 135-ish. All right, not terrible. Kind of pulled that one just a little bit. See on the second one here, if, if I can hit a little bit straighter. Didn't start as far left as the first one, but still kind of drawing that over there in the same spot. And we are using the RPT ball, uh, the Callaway RPT ball, just to get the accurate spin measurement from the device. I'm going to try to hit a little bit of a fade, see if I can hit a fade here. Started left, but uh, tried to come back a little bit, but not much. All right, so far so good. Um, the device still seems like it's connected. We haven't had any disconnects or anything. We've had three shots. Uh, all three shots register with the pitching wedge. So we're going to move up and hit a few seven irons now. Uh, typically kind of carry this, like probably like around 180. Little fun. All right, it's not bad. It looks like we got 171.9 carry on that one. Wasn't the best contact either. It was a little bit thin. Let's see if we can do better here. Okay, solid device go blue, um, and then it went back to green. So I know I think it registered the shot. It must have just missed that one, though. So let's try that again. All right, so we've had one missed shot so far. Uh, that was pretty straight, a little bit more distance, but still not the greatest contact. So let's try one more here with the seven iron. That's thin too. We've recorded three shots now with the seven iron. We hit four. Uh, so we did miss one. So let's jump out to a course and jump out to a par three uh, real quick and try to hit a few test shots there. So we've loaded out here into number 12 out at Georgia Golf Club on GS Pro. Um, we've got it set, I believe, to Thursday pins. So we're just kind of past the bunker there in the front. Uh, it's playing 158 yards. It is downhill 10 feet. We do have a little bit of a breeze 
kind of back into us, blowing right to left. Um, I've got it aimed a little bit to the right of the flag right now. Since I'm not all that loose, we're gonna try to probably hit eight iron. I'm gonna hit a few shots just to see if we can get something here on the green real quick. I got a little bit too much of that. Eight might be a little strong, yeah. All right, let's take a, try to take a little bit off of that. A little bit off this eight iron here. Shorten it up a bit. Just would have had a little draw on that one. Try to get something on the green here. Still didn't draw. More distance that time. Um, that's kind of going to conclude it for the demo today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, you know, make sure to give the video a like. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, we are going to continue to test out the MLM2 Pro and this Bluetooth connection. So I am going to be doing some of the tournament stuff inside of the SGT uh, upcoming with it. And then we've also we're going to try to pair it maybe with the x -Putt in this connector just to see how well that combo works. All right, I want to thank you guys again for watching the video today. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.